Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome to Let's Play Peter Jackson's King Kong for the PlayStation 2. Let us get into it, shall we, by booting this PlayStation 2 disc. You, uh, you might be seeing... Okay, okay, you might have, like, seen, uh, an error screen at some point. Uh, because it's like changing resolutions. Oh, and here we okay, okay. Now we here we are. So this is a game that I've honestly wanted to let's play for quite some time. I even got a test video on my channel. Up oh, that was uploaded back in two thousand ten. Um, where I was trying, I was messing around with like PS two emulation wanting to get this game working because this is actually you know uh the peter jackson king kong i'd say it's a really good movie and also a very good good game like it's a really ni nice game and uh, I've, I've wanted to let's play it for quite some time but i'd never really ha had the means to uh you know i had a fat playstation 3 for some time but it was just very loud, and so now I have a slim PS3, which can't um, play PS2 games. And my P PS2 was, like, in my closet, and I didn't really want to get it out. So I was always, you know, I was messing around with emulation and whatnot, and I could get it running kind of smoothly, but the sound would always be glitchy. So create new. I even tried out the PC version, which, uh, which ran well, but one weird thing about that one is, um... The characters are different. Like, uh, in this game, you know, all the characters have their actors' likeness, their actors likenesses. You know, uh, you know, Naomi Watts' face, you know, is and Arrow. Whereas in the PC version, she, she's just like a random blonde woman, which is... Which put me off a lot, so I didn't really want to do that. So I basically, I bit the bullet, as they say. Got my PlayStation 2 out. And uh, hooked it up. To play it. Play this game. As as well as some other games. And honestly, I'm, I'm, quite, glad, I'm quite glad I did. Let's immediately uh, turn this to 16x9. I think that should be it. Actually, subtitles. Okay then. I had to, uh, when I found my PS2 from the closet, I, uh, I'm not sure where my memory card had went, had, had went, so, uh, I needed to get a new one. I want the cast and crew on the ship within the hour. No, Carl, you can't do this. Tell them the studio pressured us into an early departure. It's not ethical. What are they gonna do, sue me? Huh? They can get in line. I'm not gonna let them kill my film. We have three hours to find a new leading lady, or we're finished. There are thousands of actresses out of work in this city. Somewhere out there is a woman born to play this role. A woman who will journey into the heart of the unknown. Towards a fateful meeting. That changes everything. I've come into possession of a map. An uncharted island. A place was thought to exist only in myth. Whoa! There's a wall ahead! Like, so like many, uh, you know, movie-based games, you just get, like, clips from the movie as cutscenes. Pacific Ocean, October 12th, 1933. I think that said October 12th. Crazy Englehorn! 
This is it! This is the hidden island I've spent eight weeks searching for! I didn't come 12,000 miles on your stinking ship to give up now! I'm landing on that island if it kills me! Let's go, boys! Hold on tight, this might get a little rough! Okay! I got the camera, I got my leading lady, Jack! Stick with me, I may need you for rewrites! Preston! You got the film and the lenses? As much as I can carry! Good! Don't lose them! Okay, alright! How you feeling, Ann? What do you say? Let's make a movie! Let's just try landing this boat first, shall we? Jack! I got a bad feeling about this! I wish Miss Darrow had stayed on the ship! Keep us steady, Meg! Spray ahead! Look at this place, Jack! Can you believe it? It's perfect! And so, the game is very, definitely pushes some boundaries, like, you know, the frame rate in this section. The frame rate in the section a little low, you know, uh, they're... Like, like I said, pushing the PS2 to its limits, most likely. That I'm pretty sure that's uh, supposed to be shaped in the shape of a person, and we crash, unfortunately, and died. The end. Or did we? Hey, Jack, you gave us a fright. Man, are you hurt? What happened? We crashed against the rocks. One of the sailor's brakes was killed instantly. We put his body over there. And so we can press left stick to move and, uh, you know, testing the game out. This I've tested out this out. Uh, I've tested this game out so much. You know, this first little section I'm just, like, very, very familiar with. And so, uh, we won't actually get up until we uh, move the left analog stick. So I just like to imagine, you know, we're laying down here, looking up, looking up at that bird or something. She's just watching us. Let's see if she does she blink. She she does not seem to blink. Let's uh let's uh, get up, shall we? Let's see and get our bearings. Oh, and there's the fellow that. Oh God. Unfortunately. We can't just leave him there. I know. Hayes is trying to contact Englehorn. The sea's too rough. We just gotta hope he saw us. If he did, he'll come looking for us with the seaplane. Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe it! This is it. The island of the skull. Why he wants to shoot a picture. This movie's gonna make so much money. Not interesting there is a... He said island of the skull, but the uh, subtitle said this skull is island. Passage. Too dark. I've got something that should help. And uh, one very key feature of this game is that there is no HUD. You know, this is the game. There is no, uh, you know, ammunition counter on screen. No health counter. No health meter, should I say? Jack, come here. I got a weapon for you. Thank you. Got some. Can't really, can't really see them. Oh, there are uh, we have mud crabs, as I as I might call them. The way we check our ammunition is, you know, by pressing circle, our character Jack Driscoll will actually read out the amount of like he will actually speak the uh, amount of ammunition. Now I can't really see anything. I'm not sure if my darkness is a. Uh, and my, my settings are too dark, or it's just meant to be dark. Get away. And honestly, this was really the one of the first first-person shooters that I really played. You know, I never really played uh, 
back when I was, you know, playing games and whatnot. I never really played, uh, you know, first-person shooters and JRPGs, which are, are genres that I've, you know, got, gotten quite big into that I just wasn't really big into back in the day. Look at this view, man. Come on. We have to make it to that cliff. You know, just, just, just me or uh, does this that big rock over there it looks very gorilla esque? You got that kind of that dome head, and then here's another gameplay element. We have these bones, this uh, some sort of animal carcass, which will give us an infinite amount of bones, which we can use as spears and throw them. Hang on, Jack. I'm coming. <laughs> Is that necessary to strategic squat? Ready to open it, Jack. Jack, and come with me. I want to shoot some test shots. Now? You want to start filming now? Sure, why not? That's why we're here. We'll start with some screams. Okay, are you ready? And action! Scream and scream for your life! Ah! That was a, a good scream. What was that? I have no idea, but let's stay focused. I'm hearing some stuff. We get some more from the ocean. Try to conserve our ammo to the best we can, to the best of our abilities. Yeah, and these bones uh, break fairly, fairly easily. Not sure if this really does it. Oh. That's okay. I got enough magazines. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, never mind. Thought that might have been a, an actual spear because there there will be um, actual spears as opposed to bones, which I imagine do more damage, but they are not unlimited. Is fellow, uh, fellow, okay, okay. Oh, stop it, stop it. It's okay. I got, got quite the amount of magazines. I want to say this might have been the the first time I ever like learned uh, playing this game I was how I learned the word magazines in re referring to a uh, gun ammunition. Let's get out of here. Don't want to fall off here. It's a very Slippery slope looks like. It's Captain Englehorn. He spotted so, someone had to have, uh, you know, designed this staircase. Imagine many people probably died. Many people probably died. What's he doing? He's leaving. Why isn't he landing? He needs to find a stretch of water that's protected from the storm. Everyone hide. Over there. He's dropped something. Now we get a shotgun. Help yourself, Jack. But be careful, they're loaded. Thank God Engelhorn spotted us. Keep your eyes peeled. If I know him, he'll send us more. Nice bow and an. I wanna say like I think the subtitles there, it's when it said hit the box with the butt of your gun, I'm pretty sure it said butt of the rifle, which we we didn't have a rifle, we had a pistol. I wonder like if that was like an early script or something that they changed. Not really sure how much fit, like, the melee damage like this actually hurts enemies. Like, I can't remember. Like, if that, not sure if it just like stuns them, gets them off you. He ain't going anywhere. Two magazines on backup. Jack, I'm gonna need your help with this. Get over here and help me. Some basic puzzle solving. Okay, let's give it a go. These doors. They don't seem very old. They work just fine. 
What do you mean? I'm not sure. It's strange. What about the second boat? Jimmy and Preston and all the others? I just hope they were able to get ashore. Nothing's gone right since we set foot on this island. Come on, boys. This is the chance of a lifetime. We're on the legendary Skull Island. <laughs> the legendary. We can go now. You get to be in a Carl Denham picture. What else do you want? Well, I have faith in you, Mr. Denham. I'm sure we'll make a very fantastic film. We may progress further into the second level. We're almost out in the open. We have to find a stretch of water near the center of the island. That's where the plane's gonna land. Nice and bright. Jimmy! Lumpy! Over here! Preston! You okay? Bring it ashore over here! The current's so strong! Row! Row! <laughs> Lump, Lumpy there, I'm pretty sure. Played by... Land as soon as you can! Uh, what was it? Andy Serkis? Who also played King Kong? I think I'm going to call the video there, folks. And next time, we'll continue on our journey into this island. Shall we, will we end up making a good picture? Will, uh, we go, will we go box office bust? Will it all be worth it? Find out next time, folks. And let's play Peter Jackson's King Kong. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time. Look it out.